Hi folks, in this video I'll talk about the new gear that I got. I got a wireless strobe flash from Godox. I also got some other accessories to uh, help the flash and of course me. I'm new to flash photography so all that I know is the setup, the TTL and the manual mode between the trigger and the flash. The rest is on the go today. Uh, if the weather uh, allows it I'll uh, try to take some photos. I'm new to it and I'm gonna be the model so good luck camera and uh, let's sit down and I'll show you the gear. This is the gold, it's the Godox AD200 Pro Pocket Flash. So let's open it and take a look inside. Inside here you have the flash itself, you have a bulb and you have the attachment for this bulb. There is a battery charger and a cable setup here as well, but I've taken it out because I'm hiking and the lighter weight I am, the better it is. But let's take out the flash. This is going to be a very easy video, not in-depth. I'm going to make a video about that later on, how it works when I've learned it myself. But this is how it looks like. In the front you have a Fresnel light and in the back you have the display. As I said, I've learned the TTL and the manual modes. It's very easy to learn and understand uh, if you have a YouTube uh, video uh, next to you, so you can uh, go through it with uh, that tutorial. Uh, a couple of things. The battery, very easy. You have a tap here, push that, and it goes easy out. This comes a little charged, so you don't have to charge it for uh, many hours when you first bought it. They say charge it fully first time. That is a must. Easy to put back on. You can maybe buy an extra battery and have that with you. In the front, the same principle. You have a tap here. Push that and you can take off this Fresnel light. Back on. Easy. And it's attached. So quick and easy. And you have many different things that you can buy extra to use with the AD200 Pro and the AD200. So that's one of the reasons I went for Godox and this model, because it's expensive to be a photographer, especially if it's on a hobby basis. So the cheaper you can get stuff, the better it is. Yes, and uh, if we take a look at this bulb, it looks like this. And this one is uh, used for softbox uh, photography. And you attach it with this one. And if you take a look inside, see if you can see it, there is a red dot and there is also a red dot on this one and those two need to connect or else I think you can break it. But go for dot to dot. As an extra accessory, this is the kit, but as an extra, extra accessory I bought a 180 degree ADS-17 dome diffuser and uh, this is uh, like a substitute for a big softbox. I have bought also a 36 inch Godox softbox, foldable. So once I've uh, uh, put it all together, I just have to fold it like an umbrella and uh, put it in the bag. This one is uh, very light, very cheap, 129 krono I think I paid. So uh, it's uh, a little cost for uh, making photography better or else the light can be very harsh. Uh, yes, I'm, again, I'm going to make uh, an in-depth video when I've learned it myself a little more, uh, so you can uh, get the impression uh, from my experience. Next thing is the trigger. Again, very easy as the AD200 Pro to understand the display and the setup. There is a dedicated tutorial videos on these ones, as well as the AD200 Plus. Uh, AD200 Pro, and I can uh, put uh, the link uh, in the description uh, uh, when uh, I'm finished here. Yeah, it's starting to blow, get windy now. I'm nervous, it's gonna rain. Uh, there are five groups and there are uh, three buttons here. It's, uh, I, think, I think it's uh, capable of five uh, flashes. There is another model that uh, is capable of more, but I didn't buy that because I saw a couple of reviews talking about the hot shoe mount that it broke very easily uh, many times for many users. So if you're going to buy something from Godox, some speed lights that I've uh, also read about, 
they have some weakness weakness in the hot shoe uh, attachment. So uh, do some research if you are considering a uh, speed light or something from Godox. The quality is in general good. They are changing it up now as uh, we are going to talk about now. This is the Godox S2 uh, Bowens mount. It's uh, multifunctional. You can uh, use round uh, Godox or other uh, brands, flashes, and you can uh, use an umbrella. Let's see where it was. There, on the side here. There, you can attach umbrella. And as I talked about, the quality, they have upgraded on the S2 model. And uh, this is now uh, metal, and before it was plastic, and it broke very easily. So uh, they are changing up, and they are getting better. So uh, when you're buying a softbox, be sure that you buy the correct attachment. This is called Bowen's attachment for the Godox softbox that I bought. So you can connect it together. It's very irritating if you buy the wrong one. So do that research. Yes. This is very quickly. I think it's going to start to rain. Hopefully not, so I can take some flash photography for the first time. But uh, again, I'm going to make a, a more in-depth video about uh, the stuff here, the AD200 Pro and the trigger and stuff like that, when I've learned it a little better. But this was, uh, instead of an unboxing, just a little light talk about what I bought. The total price for everything is uh, here. I have to go to the side and you can see the gear I bought and the different prices converted into uh, US uh, dollar. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a little rush one, I feel it myself, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, again, to everybody who has subscribed to my channel and helped me pass a thousand subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can't not imagine how much I appreciate the support. It means a lot. Hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment and uh, like and share and everything like that. You know what to do if you want to. I'll uh, set up and uh, take some photography. See you in the next video. Bye bye.